On the fourth day of Primesmas, I present to thee a Legends Class Wind Charger figure from the Power of the Primes line. So happy day four of ten. And we are all, way, all the way through the Legends class. This is the final Legend class that we're going to be doing before we start into uh, the Deluxe class. And this is Wind Charger, uh, another Autobot. So in the, in the Wave 1 release, we've got three Autobots and one Decepticon. So hopefully those numbers get uh, evened out in Wave 2 and Wave 3. But here is Wind Charger. So Wind Charger was one of my favorite uh, characters from the original cartoon. He was just kind of super, super tough and uh, a pretty good fighter. So I did enjoy that aspect of his character. So this is the box art. Same as all. I'm not going to go through it over and over again. His Prime Master is uh, the Time Traveler Vector Prime. So it uh, he can actually sit inside him, which is a little bit better than uh, the Dinobot one from, from yesterday. So... Um, Autobot Warrior wields electromagnetic power is his bio on the box. Bios are a little bit small, but that's okay. Looking at his card, it's got a yellow accent to it. Kind of like a, like a maze if you're a Michigan fan. And the artwork on the front's really nice. And on the back, it says Amalgamous Wind Charger becomes massive objects with huge gravitational pull. So I don't know. I don't know too much about that. Maybe you guys can tell me about it in the comments, but that uh, that sounds pretty cool, but not really sure how that relates to a smaller Legends class figure. Here is the figure itself. Wind Charger, true to his G1 form. Um, he is red with gray. He's got a little bit of silver in his face. If you can see that, his eyes are blue. Get a look, the lighting's kind of crummy. His logo is a little bit bigger than the one on Dinobot or than on Slash, so I'm happy with that. And he's got one on his hood as well. So articulation, his elbows move all the way around, um, not back and forth on the sides. Shoulders same, ball joint can move all the way around and go up. So that helps with his transport or transformation mode as well. Knees standard and no hip swivel as well just like the other ones and then his feet are the windshield so that could become an issue they're pretty fragile it's a pretty thin piece of plastic you see and you know that looks like it could break pretty easily so take care when you're transforming him to put those all the way back okay so all in all like i mean his head is exactly the same as it was in the g1 um, which is awesome and uh, i'm excited to transform him for everyone so here we go. First step first, you're going to pull off his hood and pull it up. So his hood has a peg right here and a hole right here. So when you do put it back, that's where it's going to connect in. And then as you pull it up, just hold it up like that. Okay, so you're, you're there. The next step is on the inside of this arm, there's a hole right there. And on right here, there's a hole, there's a peg. So this hole He's got to connect into that peg in order for his wheels to be in the right spot. So what you're going to do is align it and subtly takes a little bit of finagling and uh, goes in pretty good like that. So it's got to go underneath his hood. So once his hood is down, now you've got the front end. So that's how... The front end of them looks it's where your prime master would sit right there and then the second step of the process is pretty easy you just peel the peel the feet part out there's a tab right here can you see it right there and a slot clips in pretty easily then just roll it up and then right here on this one there's also another tab so i'll try and show it to you right here it is right there where my where my fingertip is there's a tab so just connect those two as well and that's going to give you your windshield so make sure your windshield's all the way up as you go down it should just clip in and there you go pretty simple eight step transformation that's uh wind chargers vehicle mode i love the fact about this is that it's got the ribbed ribbed back rear win, rear window just like uh, like 80s slash cars had most cars don't have this anymore but in the 80s this was a big thing on a lot of the firebirds and uh camaros and that sort of thing so the car is actually really really nice 
I like this vehicle mode more than I've liked a lot of transformer vehicle modes in the past little bit. So all in all, I think this wind charger figure is fantastic. I would strongly suggest picking it up. If you're only going to buy a couple of the, uh, of the wave one power of the primes lines, I would say wind charger has to be one of them. Um, hope you guys enjoy day four of power of the primes miss tomorrow's day five. That means we're going to start with the uh, deluxe class figures. And the first figure that I'm going to review is the Autobot Jazz, which is my all-time favorite Transformer figure um, from G1. So I'm super duper 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 excited for that. And I hope you're enjoying the 10 days of Prime's Miss because I know I'm having a real good time reviewing all this stuff for you. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.